When we've got an event training, uh, particularly an L1, L2 gospel conversations training, and we're swarming together, meaning you've got a number of people that are coming in to train together, oftentimes from different cities, it's really important that we have a pre-training practice. And this is typically scheduled uh, a day or two before the training, oftentimes the, the day or the evening beforehand. And we need to make sure to schedule ample time. You know, sometimes if it's a, it can take anywhere from four to six hours, which seems like a lot. But we want to make sure that people are equipped and that they have prepared and are practicing ahead of time. And it also, in my opinion, when I'm serving as a lead trainer, I believe that the practice is the real training. And then the event training the next day is just looking at the fruit of that practice. So you want to budget enough time. And uh, we found it helpful to make sure to get the schedule out to people and assign the roles. And if you can do so ahead of time and they've got the practice training videos to practice, they can make sure to practice ahead of time. But you want to use the time to model the modules and then give them time to practice. Now if you're utilizing training videos that people are uh, with your local team like this one or, or another set of training videos and uh, it can save time to have them look at the training videos ahead of time and then show up and practice but um, it's hard to replace live training. So take the time also to to, uh, to pray together and, uh, and really enjoy some, some fellowship as you're practicing and, and serving with one another. Um, I'd also use it as a chance to remind them of the trainer principles that we want to uphold that we're going to then debrief the next day. And uh, those are to make sure that they have prepared that uh, they allow for discovery um, of the passages instead of dropping landmines, let the let people discover it. Um, that we model the module in a way that we expect them to practice and we give them ample time to practice. That we keep it simple, so not adding to it and making it more complex, but keeping it simple. And we want to stress above all that we will be humble particularly in the areas of being learners ourselves, we never stop learning, and as servants really trying to help others learn this. It's not about us, it's really about them and passing this on to them. So if you can schedule ample time, run through the schedule, make sure everybody knows their role, give them a chance to, to practice their module and make sure they know what it is that they're supposed to do. Spend time praying together, enjoy this as a time, and uh, enforce those principles. We believe that uh, the training uh, will accomplish a lot more together, especially as a swarm training, and uh, the quality and the principles will pass downstream.